Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be going through part two of the general changes that were made in Solid Camp 2010. We've added an option now that will allow you to remember the last place where you opened your part location. For example, if I go to Solid Camp and go to Open, it automatically at this point goes to where the default location was. However, if I were to click on return to the latest use directory, and let's just say we'll go to any specific directory that I have over here and choose a part. Now when I go back to open, you'll note that it goes back to the exact location where I was before. That's because I checked the box that said return to the latest use directory. We've also added now an option to provide an adjustable do not ask me again in the CAM settings. For example, if I were to go into my CAM settings and go down towards CAM messages, you'll note that we have all the messages operation such and such will be deleted. Now we have the option of whether we want to be asked that every single time or not. For example, if I were to go to this operation here and click on delete we have the operation option of saying do not ask again and then activate do not ask again and click on yes it will not ask me again the next time I press delete if I have to press delete now on this next operation it'll automatically delete it without asking I can go back into my cam settings and go down to CAM messages and reactivate this at any time. We've also added a new option that will enable you to customize your synchronization settings per CAM part. If I were to go into my CAM part definition, in the part settings, I can go into the settings over here, and we have now the option over here of synchronization. I can set my synchronization options different now than what the general settings are for this particular part. And the last of our general options that we've added on was the facet tolerance for coordinate system definition. We now have a tolerance setting for our coordinate system definition. If I were to go into my CAM settings and go into coordinate system definition, we now have the option facet tolerance for level measuring of 0.01. .01. This is the default settings, but this can be changed. This is sometimes important when you have parts that are imported where the level is not exactly smooth on top. So sometimes you need to adjust the facet tolerance to get a rounded number. Thank you for joining us on SolidCamp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.